Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Writer. We are back with another Stuff and Such video. This week we'll be doing the second box of Babylon 5 RPG stuff. Mostly second edition of, edition of the product. Here's a quick peek at the box. I didn't pull it up quite far enough, but there you have it. There's the second box. Let's move this back. And we'll get right to it. So, we're going to start with what's in the front of the box, which... Uh, we're not going to go through all of these, but uh, I collected Signs and Portents magazine since it came out. And they were a print magazine for a little while, and then they went purely PDF. And we have copies, we're going to double check here and see what we've actually got, but it looks like copies number 1 through number 25, which I believe were all the physical copies that were ever released for this, for this magazine. Now, I was... Oh, shoot. I had an article actually published in one, but I don't think it was until the 40s. So um, I'll put it right at the bottom of the page, right in that little white spot down there. Uh, I'll, I'll note what it was. It was, a, it was, a, um, it was a, a scenario called the Doppelganger Trap, which was a lot of fun to write and I thought turned out pretty well. But we've got Signs Importance Magazines number one, which came apparently with Minotaurs. I believe this was actually part was in with this. That's why this is here. Uh, I don't see any numbers on some of these. Oh, okay. Yep, number two. Number three. Four. There's the number. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And eleven over there. Um... These were... This was Mongoose's house uh, publication. 12, 13, and it covered, it covered all 14, 15, let me do this first, 16, and then we'll talk about these for a second, and we'll be done with them, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24, and 25. Um, they covered everything that Mongoose produced at the time, which was several different things. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the, the first one. Their quintessential books, just everything that they were doing at the time. These were full color magazines. They were pretty nicely put together. Yeah, so there's my collection of signs importance. Next, of course, we're into the second edition of Babylon 5. There she is. Uh, this is Faith Manages is what they called this one. Now the second edition, I'm not sure what exactly uh, changes that they made. Expanded and comprehensive system, blah, blah, blah. Revamping and restyl restyling key areas such as telepathy and space combat. And is compatible with first edition supplements. It was a, it was a um, OGL, so D20 supplement. There's your map of known space. Uh, again, fully full color. Very nice. Oop, I just bumped the camera again. And very, very well done little book, even if it was D20. Now, I ended up with a couple of this, the Babylon 5 Station Guide. Uh, one of them cost me quite a bit. I think it was this one that cost me a lot. And it's in mint condition. Uh, very nice uh, release. Uh, it came with some books, the Visitor's Guide, Life on the Station, Guide to the Station, the Station and the Galaxy, but what was primarily uh, in these were the Station Maps. Uh, in, addition, in addition to uh, the actual maps of the Station, you had some close-up stuff, uh, each of, uh, and just, just set up very nicely. Now the reason I have two is because I got one and it cost me about a hundred bucks which I felt was a pretty decent, especially for like a mint copy. This thing is in great shape. Uh, the second one came up on, uh, and I bid on it on a whim when it was around $25. It's in good shape. It has, oh, some ship plans came with it apparently as well. Uh, has all the books and all the maps, and I put a minimum bid on it and won, which surprised the hell out of me to be quite honest, because I thought sure it would go for more. These show up on eBay every once in a while, but uh, otherwise, yeah, so I have two. 
Now, I don't mind having two, don't get me wrong. I don't want it to sound like I'm like, ah, I don't want this. Because uh, I always did kind of want two of them so that one of them I can tear up if I desire. And the other one I can just keep in good mint condition. So I think almost everything that I had to get for second edition I had to buy later on. Uh, we've got the Legend of the Rangers, uh, which is, let's see, this is the, yeah, this is, this is about the Legend of the Rangers movie that was made. Uh, this one isn't as in good a shape, but, and the interior is black and white, which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, but it, uh, it is a decent book. It, it, describes, uh, it describes that movie pretty well. Uh, I ended up getting a second copy. I don't know why I have a second copy of this. Uh, I think, again, I had one and the other one came up cheap, so I went ahead and bid on it and won. We've got Third Space. Uh, this deals details Third Space for Babylon 5. Uh, again, these were all purchased used. This one is in color. Uh, I, it seemed like they got a little hit or miss whether or not you were getting something color or not later on in, in the, uh, the makings of. The Lurker's Guide to the Pat Marat took me forever to get because people wanted so much for this book. I'm not sure why. It's a hardback book. Uh, it is black and white. And so... Maybe it was, it's rare, I don't know. But uh, I eventually found it for a price I was willing to pay. The rim, this details, actually, I'm not sure what this details. This details the outer rim uh, and how to go beyond the void of the rim. Again, this one's color. Got another map of the governing systems. Here's some planets and the like. What else have we got? Lurker's Guide to Telepaths. There's another one that I had difficulty finding, if I remember correctly. Um, so this is our 5th edition sci book, pretty much, or at least talks about new rules for telepaths and that kind of thing. Again, black and white instead of in color. See, a few of them I got, and they were suddenly black and white, and I'd never seen a black and white Babylon 5 role-playing game books before, book before, and I thought, wait a minute, what, is this some kind of weird knockoff? We've got the Lurker's Guide to Starports. This one was hard to find. I remember that. It was uh, fairly rare. Uh, Mimbari Starport. Uh, it, has, it has some descriptions of starports. It's got a few nice little kind, looking kind of maps. Drazi Starport and that kind of thing. Uh, Bakiri. Just kind of cool. Uh, just, some, just some cool ideas. Uh, Abai, Bakiri, Centauri, Drazi, Earth Alliance, Mimbari, Narn, and then your index. Another one I had trouble finding was Lurker's Guide to Freedom Station. And for a while I thought this was a boxed set, I think. But it turns out not. And let's see, this one's also black and white. What is this? It's almost like an extra book. Leap of Faith! I think that's a scenario. I believe there might be a scenario in the back of this one. So this details Freedom Station. I don't know if that was ever actually mentioned in Babylon 5, ever, or if this is completely made up, which is my guess. A few maps of the station, that kind of thing. Ooh, IPX. I was really looking forward to this one, and I was real happy with it. Uh, IPX, obviously, is the, uh, let's see, what is it called? The uh, Interplanetary Expeditions, which are the archaeological slash uh, commercial slash... Uh, take advantage of whatever you can steal from arche archaeological digs and use the technology. Uh, big corporations are all corrupt in Babylon 5, just like everybody else. They just want to make money, which I guess is true for every corporation. Uh, but they do also fund archaeological digs. So I found that interesting. I thought, I thought that would be very cool. It's a good book. We've got the Shipbuilder's Manual. I have not actually looked through this one. This one's full color, but uh, rules for building new ships, new types of ships, arming your vessel, obviously, outfitting the essentials, blah, 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 blah. Just neat stuff for, uh, for building ships for, the, for combat sections of the game. Uh, ships of the Galaxy is a war book, essentially. We've got the different types of ships. Uh, there's a lot of them in here uh, with all their stats, relevant stats. Most of them are illustrated, not all of them, I don't think, because I was a little disappointed that certain ships were not illustrated. So that felt like a little bit of a letdown. But you've pretty much got all the races, so this is very useful. Even the Interstellar Alliance has ships noted 
for it. Mongoose did a good job of trying to cover everything that somebody might have an interest in. And I kind of wish I'd have started running this game instead of D&D in the early 2000s. We've got Heroes and Aliens. I'm not sure what this is about. This is, uh... Oh, this is all the... This is a comprehensive list of characters. Heroes and Aliens includes complete details for two updated prestige classes. Unfortunately, it was DR... Oh, DLC. Huh. Hide and drink. I have no idea why that's in there. I think that's who I bought it from on eBay. Uh, we've got a lot of the a lot of NPCs set up for. Uh, there's Excalibur crew. There's Byron. We've got bad guys and good guys. Virkato at the beginning and the end. Lanier. This includes their histories, some of the things that they've done, uh, where they were involved, what year they were involved. Overall, just some, just here's all your NPCs you could ever want of the main characters from the show. Bounty Hunter. Uh, this one kept going for a lot too, and this is basically just rules for running uh, somebody in the bounty hunter industry, which seems to be pretty prevalent in Babylon 5, as in almost every spacefaring uh, series. Uh, you've got equipment, uh, there's some NPCs. There are plenty of, there's just plenty of information on bounty hunters because they did make, they were, they, there were bounty hunters in the series. So you want to talk about them a little bit. Right, we're on the home stretch here. The Drock. I had a terrible time finding this for a reasonable price too. And I probably ended up paying more than, than I want. I should have, I should have kept track of how much each of these cost me really. Uh, you got everything about the Drac. I didn't care for them as a race, but they're very manipulative and... Uh, obviously the bad guys, so you don't want to like them. I mean, the shadows at least felt classy. The Drac always felt like they were just wannabe douchebag dictators to me. Uh, another soft cover, Lurker's Guide to the Game. I got this for like five bucks. These, the game apparently nobody cares about, <laughs> or they made so many of these that uh, it was just like, whatever. Uh, so if you look on eBay, you can find this book very cheaply if you have an interest in the game which they were, which ones were the game? The game were like the, yeah, I think they were like the, the mantis type species. Uh, then we've got some scenarios. The Final Flight of the Santiago. This is another one that's soft cover. It's uh, color. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, and pretty easy to find one of these, not very expensively online. This talks about the, um, this actually allows you to play the Final Flight of the Santiago before it's destroyed. Spoilers, by the way. Um, uh, and uh, the president of the Earth Alliance is killed. The Cold Equation uh, is another very short scenario. I think this one deals with the... I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Uh, but interesting stuff. And finally, our last one is The Ragged Edge, which I'm not even sure what this is. I think this is scenarios. Uh, it's a campaign, another short campaign during 2259, the second series, season of Babylon 5. So we've got another scenario, uh, book of scenarios that are all connected into a campaign. As usual, Mongus does a wonderful job with their layout. Everything looks really, really nice. Green versus purple, that would indicate the Drazi, War of the Queens. So several scenarios in here that can all be connected. Uh, in a story arc as a campaign, which is always kind of cool. So that's it. That is all the Babylon 5 stuff. So, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all next time.